comes the role of Renovil. We actually extend our entrepreneurial hand towards such neglected and derelict spaces. We have, an, we have a unique method to solve this problem. Okay, so we are coming to the technical part of Renovild. Um, in Renovild, most of the process take place online. From the user to the point where this building is converted into an asset, everything takes place online. All the workers work in the backend. So initially, uh, the people using Renovild can be classified into three. There will be a user, there will be a pioneer, which will be a set of technical experts who will be dealing with the buildings, and the third will be a set of marketing people. So we'll go to the users first. We have made certain classifications and some terminologies for making it more comfortable. Um, in taxonomy, there are users and the pioneers. The users are the end users or those who are in need of a building. Um, I go to some place, the info uploaders. The info uploaders just give us an idea of a particular location. There is an Android application which we have made which can be used for the purpose. Then is the conventional users. We have a website. Any person who holds an account on that website can be termed as a conventional user. Pioneers are the technical people. These technical people uh, can be civil engineers, architects or any people uh, concerned with designing part have a website. In that website, we have a forum. Suppose a user informs us about a particular location and states us that a particular place is abandoned. We collect the location details and we put it into a forum. Our website is divided into three. It has something called a Reno box, a forum and a chat box. This forum is an open community where these pioneers and the users will be working together. So uh, it is situated in a place which is a zone of many coaching institutes like Akash, Fiji, Time etc. As these institutes are very famous, uh, students from faraway places arrive here for education. So this is a residential area and the best feasible solution is to convert this into a hostel. So actually I would say the example of the case study we did. So it was uh, disputed by the two sons of a father and they had some legal issues. So father what we could do is make the government involved and we wish government would give us some solution. So that's our solution and I would like to thank Asha ma'am on behalf of the whole Renovil team for giving such an opportunity to us. And it was a pleasure working with you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.